Like the wedding. Uh, I was thinking about lobster appetizers. What do you think? I think you're crazy because there's not going to be any wedding if we can't get Sonny back and we can't get Jason out of jail. We? Yes, we. You and me, and we need we need to think of a plan. Oh, whoa, whoa. We need Carly, to start Carly, right now. come on. Do you know what is going to make things worse? Is you coming up with a plan that Jason is going to hate. Well, what are we supposed to do? Courtney, you want us to sit back and relax and wait for a disaster to happen? Jason says that he has everything under control. You know, I don't really Carly. care what Jason says. Sonny's life is in danger. Yeah, and so is yours and the baby's if you take matters into your own hands. Well, Carly? I will be careful. Take this. Hey, you have learned your lessons the hard way. Remember? I mean, you, you overreact to some crisis, you work up some scheme that blows up in your face, and meanwhile, Sonny has already come up with a plan which you promptly ruined by throwing yourself in the middle. Well, this time it'll be different, okay? Carly, how? Courtney, it's different. It is different because Jason and, and Sonny's hands are tied. How do you know? Jason sounded confident. He knows what he's doing, Carly. You trust Jason, right? Of course I do. Okay. Then you need to trust Jason to ask us for help if he needs it. Yeah. I just... Trust him enough to stay out of the way. Any suggestions on appetizers for the wedding? Courtney, you know that nothing we talk about is going to keep me from worrying about Sonny. I know. What are you doing? Mommy! Hey, Mr. Man. Come here. Come give me a hug. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> Oh, honey. Mm. Where's Leticia? She out with the nurse? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you okay? Do you feel better? I feel much better. Is our baby sick? Sweetie, our baby is just fine. What's this machine do? That machine there keeps track of your mommy's and the baby's heartbeat. And uh, the baby's doing great. Your little brother's a-okay. Is Daddy okay too? Yeah, he's just fine. And you know what? He's gonna be here very soon. It's just that business is keeping him a little bit, but we'll get here as soon as we can. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Am I running late? I thought I had an hour. Uh, no, you, you, you do. I just, I couldn't hang around the house anymore. Michael keeps asking me when Daddy's coming home. What do you say? Soon. But I can't know that for sure. Carly, Sonny's okay. No, Sonny's a prisoner. Look, Alcazar, he just wants his drugs back. Okay, I'm, I'm Jason, we'll get them to him and Sonny will come home. How can he do that? Jason's been arraigned for drug trafficking. How is he going to help Sonny okay. if he can't even okay, help look, himself, look, look, Courtney? Look, I know it's impossible, but we just can't think about that right now. Come on. Did you eat? Yeah. Uh, Michael made me. I had pears. He had a donut. I was jealous. <laughs> He's taking care of you. Yeah. And if it wasn't for him and the baby right now, I'd be absolutely losing my mind. Carly and Jason sounded pretty confident. I know. But it doesn't mean that we, um, have to sit around and do nothing. You have an idea? Yeah, I do, and you have to help me with it. Any problems? He woke up with a bad attitude. I hope you taught him some respect. He's learned to appreciate our hospitality. Well, let's wake him. His time is up. That Baldwin could care less whether Sonny lives or dies. Okay, so what do we do? Alcazar wants the drugs. The cops have them, so we get the stash and we trade them for Sonny ourselves. Okay, Carly, are you on drugs? No, right now? listen to me, okay? Max and Marco, they distract the cops. We break At into the, the evidence station. room. Yes. With armed cops. Yes. Oh, Carly, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, you know what? Jason's gonna end up in prison if we don't do something. Okay, and okay, Sonny, I don't know. Calm down. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't stop. right now. Stop. Okay, listen.
Listen, as much as I would love to drop kick Alcazar back to Venezuela, it's just wrong to get involved in this. No, hey, please, please don't, Carly. I'm sorry. I am so freaked out right now. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so am I. But I am focusing on a promise that I made. I think we have to protect your baby. I know. Okay. Come on. So it's as hard as it is. We just, we have to stay calm and not do anything. At least in, uh, until we find out what's happening with Jason. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that he was gonna go to jail. <laughs> Are you nervous about the wedding? Carly, there's not going to be a wedding. I should call the church and tell them that we have to cancel. No. You can't. Send Mrs. Corinthos a sympathy arrangement, something appropriate. See, of course. Only Sonny would learn to play nice with us. This wouldn't be necessary. Hey, 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 hey. You just stopped me from making a really, really big mistake, okay? Let me do the same for you. This isn't that. It, what happened? Poor Sonny. He's still with Alcazar. Well, then what are you doing here? The drugs disappeared know? from the PCPD. Scott had to let me go. Well, if there's no drugs, then we have nothing to trade for Sonny. Carly, that's what, that's what I came here to tell you, okay? I'm gonna handle this. And I promise I'll bring Sonny back. Just don't do anything crazy. I won't. Good. You'll stay here? Yeah. Good. First shot got your attention. Don't expect me to beg. Thought never crossed my mind. It says a lot about your brother. He was a front man. You do the real work, right? My brother Luis was a fool. Pick it up. I have what you want. Are you on your way to jail? The deal is drugs for Sonny, alive. We'll be at the old greenery warehouse on West End. I'll be there. No way Jason will ever make a deal with you. Well, for the sake of your family, I hope you're wrong. Father Coates, it's so good to talk to you. I'm glad you're back. Yeah, we'll see you at the rehearsal. Okay, bye. Hey, these? Wow, oh, well, those are beautiful. I can't do this right now. This just doesn't matter. Yes, it, it does. Listen, your first wedding, I know you were disappointed in with your marriage. No, to... you're not going to talk about age here, are you? Because that was such a huge mistake. I know it was. And now you were marrying the man that you love. In church, with your family and your friends all around you. I want to be married to Jason forever. I know. And you will, okay? So we need to... Go ahead with the plan, and we haven't even figured out what we're gonna do with your hair and your makeup yet. <laughs> you know what? I have a better idea. Alcazar, where is my merchandise? First, you show me Sonny. Let's go. 
What do you mean? Morgan's returning the drugs you stole from me. No, he's not. You want to run drugs through my territory, you get the hell out of here. You gotta be kidding. I could kill you now and still take Sorry, just give him the just You give don't the know keys. me runs drugs through my territory. Give him the keys. Oh yeah. Do it, Sonny. Give him the keys. It's not right. Your family's waiting. You need to go home. This is what it costs. I'll be able to pick up the keys. Check out the van. I expect it better from you. These drugs aren't worth dying over. It's a wise choice, Mr. Morgan. You better change with time, Sonny. Sounds like you're becoming obsolete. This isn't over. Could be. What do you say, Morgan? Should we eliminate your partner now? If you're around to push my merchandise, why do we need Sonny at all? Because we made a deal. The drugs for Sonny, that's all I want. You expect me to thank you now for caving into this bastard? You made it worse for both of us. What do you think I did what I had anyway? to do, Sonny. Get out. Now. This doesn't end, you know. All right, what's, what's going on? Get out, you know. No, you're Come on, come on. Lorenzo Alcazar, you're under arrest. Come on, you know you want to do this. No, I want the bag to be Alcazar's face. Okay, so what's stopping you? I'm a little pregnant here. Exercise is good for the baby. Oh, please. You know, Sonny, Sonny would definitely not approve of this. Yeah, and it makes you want to do it even more, doesn't it? This is, um, for almost ruining my best friend's wedding. Come on, you can hit harder than that. Okay, this is for making Max you overdose. There you go. And for making me freak out. And my sons. And for Sunny. God, I almost them. Hello. Sunny. So good to hear your voice. <laughs> Queen of Angels, Church, yeah, we'll, we'll be there. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Hey, Sonny, okay? He's with Jason. Oh, God. Thank you. Okay, go get dressed. Go get okay. dressed now because we have a rehearsal to get to. Nothing. I knew it. I, I, I knew something was going to go wrong. Scott Baldwin probably picked them okay, up, no, no, took them in the custody again. How do you know? We don't ever hear in anything. Uh, no sign of the girl with Sonny yet? No, not, not yet. Well, would you like to wait or should we start? I, I guess we, let's go. I mean, we could give them a review when they come back. Okay. All right. Uh, the groom and the best man will take their positions at the front of the church. Then the prelude music will begin. Michael will lead the procession, followed by your major of honor here. Uh, then, Courtney, you'll hear the intro to the bridal march. Now, step into the door frame, but wait there until the actual march begins, okay? Let's run through it. Now, pretend that the men are in place and that Michael is almost down to the front. Carly, step into the doorway, and you start down the aisle. Can I go? Sonny. Hey, Sonny. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God, are you okay? I don't want you to run like this. Okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Oh. Why? Come on. Oh, my God, don't ever, ever, ever scare me like that again. Wow. Oh. Would you like to uh, personalize your vows? I, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be so nervous that be all I can manage to repeat after you. You'll be fine. Okay, uh, after the rings are exchanged, I'll instruct you, Jason, to kiss your bride. 
and then I will uh, introduce you to your guests as Courtney and Jason Morgan. They'll applaud. And then, Jason, you can escort your bride down the aisle into the vestibule. <laughs> okay, any questions? Last minute changes? I don't think so. I think um, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Ladies? So, are you tired? Why? Do I look tired? Just don't no, answer I don't. that. Okay, I had the uh, staff at the cellar arrange to have a uh, private dinner for the rehearsal. For, uh, for who? For the rehearsal. It's, it's for the wedding party, okay? That means you and Courtney and me and Sonny and I can't make it, but mm. do you think you could handle it? I don't know. I mean, maybe shoot home, get some rest, try to stay calm. Okay, the way that I'll stay calm is if you could cooperate for once in your life, well, maybe? She needs that to would give be her, really her good. Own way. No, I'm doing this for Courtney. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blame my sister. She's, it's her wedding. Okay. She can't even get a word in. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what? I, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I Carla, come on. Don't you dare. Like that. Apologize for everything you've done. I would love a dinner rehearsal. And I'm sure Jason would too. Because you love us enough to put this together and we are grateful. Right? It'd be nice if you could just ask once. Just one time, Carly, but thank you. Oh, you're welcome. We'll meet you at the cellar. Fabulous. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the, the car around, okay? Okay. Uh, Jason and Courtney's night, but I, uh, sorry, I'd like to propose a toast to my wife. All right. Um, I am sorry for upsetting you, and, uh, you showed a lot of courage, and I, I appreciate that. Jason and Courtney helped get me through it. Uh, we helped each other. That's the way families work. <laughs> to our families. To family. <laughs> and mm. to Sunny coming home safe. Welcome home. <laughs> mm. uh, you know, that's, that's the last I want to talk about that because it, it's over. What matters now is that Jason and Courtney are getting married tomorrow. It's a big deal. And I'm happy for both of you. Okay, I want to propose a toast. Oh! Yes. <laughs> to the bride and the groom. <laughs> um, I never ever thought that anyone would be good enough for Jason. Until Courtney came along. And now that I know her, I'm wondering if Jason's good enough for you. Yeah. <laughs> But seriously, you guys had quite a journey getting here. So, uh, had a lot of bumps in the road, a lot of detours, but you made it. So, here's to you. I wish you all the happiness in the world. And no more surprises before the ceremony. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, to my sister, my best friend, and to my wife and my child, and a future we dreamed about and we almost gave up on which makes this all the more special to me this baby is going to have his father's intelligence and fearlessness 
His mother's, uh, let's see, passion and determination. Oh, you see that? This is how Sonny interprets it. I am passionate. I am determined. <laughs> he's saying that because he's drinking. <laughs> No. Okay. He's going to have your dimples and your beautiful eyes. But this baby definitely will have his love. Oh. Michael Corinthos Jr., may I have this dance? Yes, you may. You two, this might be a good moment to practice for tomorrow. dance? I would love to. May I cut in? Or you just uh, pay Bolton and drop the charges? You should be proud of your lieutenant. I was led to believe he was incapable of thinking on his own, but he came up with an extremely effective double cross. Jason, hold on. Let me take care of this. Take both of them for a second. Doesn't seem to have done you any lasting harm. Not at all. In fact, it's been a very informative negotiation. Your people do good work, Corinthos. We'll definitely be doing business in the future. Why do I get the feeling that trouble is not over? I don't know. What do you think? They're perfect. I'm glad you like them. God, everything's like a dream. You know, everything that I ever imagined that I wanted or, or wished I could have, you gave me. No, I just signed the checks. Oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> you, you've always tried to be a good brother to me. You know, to love me and protect me. Around every last second of my life. You want to do that? <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't always do everything right. And I, I certainly didn't make things easy. But you never gave up.
it took you so long. Why empty sleeves? Well, here. What? No, no, you open it. No, I, it's your wedding present for me. Yeah, but you love to open presents. Yeah, but I know what it is, Jason. Okay, please, open the present and help me with these stupid sleeves. <laughs> Do I know you or what? Can you put them on? <laughs> oh, gosh. Get the beef out of here. Okay. Thank you, Carly. Thank you. They are exactly what I wanted <laughs> and exactly what I needed. And I don't know what I would do without you. What's, what's going on here? Nothing. I'm selfish and I'm self-centered and I'm afraid that after you marry Courtney, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to call you at like four in the morning or anything. What are you, what are you talking about? You never call me at four in the morning. But if I wanted to, things are just going to be different now. Is that why you're upset? You're my best friend, Jason. Stand up straight. Well, he, I am standing up straight. Hold in the ties. Yeah, the crooked. The tie no, is stop. fine. No, Carly. fine. You want to look? Stop. You want to look like a slob at your own wedding? That's look, fine. I'm not, That's good. I'm not good moving to the other side of the world. I'm not even leaving town. I'm just getting married. I know. I'm happy for you, Jace. I am. I wanted this, right? But okay, you're my best friend, and now you're not going to be. And I just feel we're, a little bit. We're still going to be friends. But not best friends. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. You didn't have Don't to. Don't start thinking all sideways, okay? We're friends, whether I like it or not. Sometimes we get on each other's nerves. It might be a little inconvenient. I might even get a headache. And you know what? If I tell you not to call me at four in the morning, you're gonna call me at four in the morning. Only if it's really, really important. Or I just really, really want to talk to you. But you know, you can call me. Anytime. And that's why we're always going to be friends. You stand by me, so I stand by you. You make it sound like it's a chore. Well, <laughs> sometimes it is, but it doesn't matter. You're in my life. I can't explain why. You have too much courage for your own good. You're always around with these crazy plans. <laughs> and you won't go away. And neither will I. Okay. I'm always on your side, no matter how wrong you are. <laughs> and I'm always on your side, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, I smudged no, 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 it's you. Okay. No, it's oh, all oh, over take the it place. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. I'm doing some. May I please? Please. Have the ring. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get them for you. Okay. Here they are. Here are the plastic ones for you. I don't want the plastic ones. You take the plastic ones. You give them to the priest. He switches them for you. I didn't care. Buddy, come here. Here you go. Jason, you're giving him the real rings. Courtney and I are counting on you. Jason, what if he loses them? He's not going to lose them, right? Mm. What's so special about these anyway? Come here. What is so special about these rings? They're a symbol of Courtney and Jason's love, okay? And they cost a fortune, so you hang on to them really, really tight. You hear me? Yep. Okay. Tight. Go show Jason how tight you can hold on to them. Like this, like this. Okay, good. Start my hand in. So where's Carly? She's supposed to be helping you get ready. Sonny, I have plans. She plans time. the thing. She plans the wedding, and then she 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 can't help the bride get ready. This is not right. <laughs> You're no, no. nervous. No, I'm not. I'm not you nervous. Are. <laughs> it's about time. Where you been? I'm right on talking. Where's Carly? Uh, Sonny, just no. nervous. Just no, I'm not. Ner I'm not nervous. You know, I. <laughs> I never dreamed I'd have the chance to walk my little girl back. Okay, you know what? Nobody's going to walk anybody anywhere if we can't find Carly. Please get Sonny out of here before he makes me nervous. Come on, where is she? I don't... We'll be fine.
fine. No, really, no it, I just can't watch you pace around here like that. Look, you heard your sister. Come on, let's What's get that? out of here, Sonny. Go. Sonny. Okay, no, what no. if I call? No, 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 no. Get out of here. You want to know what time it is? Yeah. What time? Come on here. I'll tell you what time. Took her to well, mostly the cufflinks and then the tie and the you shoes. You would think this tux. is her, her wedding. It now. is, except Courtney's the bride. So, um, a little nervous, a little nervous. Mm. I know how much you hate this stuff. Yeah, well, you know, I know it's important to make a commitment in front of other people. Yeah. You taught me that. But what's up with the, these tuxes? What are <laughs> wear this thing? It looks great on you. Yeah, whatever. It's gonna be good standing up there next to you. Uh, you got me here. You've been uh, a friend and a father. You did everything a father's supposed to. And you taught me what I needed to know and you respected me once I learned. I have a life because of you. Whatever I gave you, you were paid it a hundred times over. I, I don't I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to thank you. We're family. That's all that matters. You're perfect. <laughs> and it's time for the dress. Are you kidding? Come in. Come here, okay, come here, okay. come here. Is the matron of honor supposed to be so bossy? Yes, it's tradition. <laughs> Just like these gifts. Thank you. You're welcome. That's um from Lila. She couldn't be here, but she um wanted you to have that. Oh, it's beautiful. See the initials? It's for uh, Constance Morgan, her mom. But now it's Courtney Morgan. Lila's giving me her blessing. <laughs> yeah. And her love too. Any chance you want to open this one? <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. Yes, good. It's okay. for me and Sunny. Oh. What did you guys do? Mm -hmm. Oh, Carly. They're gorgeous. <laughs> you already helped me pick out the other ones. Yeah, well, these are special. We got them to uh, match your engagement ring. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, we've got something old, something new, something borrowed. But didn't Sonny give you that? Yes, he did, so don't lose it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I promise I will put it back on your wrist safe and sound. I trust you. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. Thank you so much for giving me the wedding in my dreams. I love Jason. It's no secret. But I love you too, and I want the two of you to have the best day and the best wedding ever. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. You look so handsome. I'm so, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm so happy everything turned out so well. And, um, you know, the family's gonna show up. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'll drag them out if they get too obnoxious no, or anything. Don't worry about the court of me. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself. Okay. That's the plan. Sonny, I have every right to see my baby okay. get married. Please don't fight Listen. me. If Courtney wants you here, that's fine, but if you cause any trouble, you know where you're going. Courtney is about to have the wedding of her dreams, and you won't spoil it. That's right. Hey, That's right. if if my daughter wants to marry your brother's chief thug, what am I supposed to do? Okay, see what I'm talking about? More comments like that, you know where you're going. Okay, you're out of here. All right. I'm just telling you. All right, I know. It's Courtney's life, and I'm I, w I will find a way to deal with it, okay? Good. Good. Who in God's name invited that dreadful woman? She's the mother of the bride-to-be. She's supposed to be at the wedding. Why don't you go and say hi, sweet cheeks? 
Hello, Grandfather. You look pale. Did you skip breakfast? Ah, uh, you caught me again. No, congratulations, Jason. For once in your heathen life, you've shown the good discretion to include your whole family. Of course, you uh, gangsters really don't belong in church. Okay, one more. And you are so far out of here. What, for stating the facts, Jason's a heathen, pure and simple, that's all. Okay, and... I'll give Grandmother a full report. Oh, please, just... come on. You let Janine go visit Courtney? Well, would you be happier if she made a big scene right here? No, no, I just want everything to be perfect for my sister. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But... Open your eyes. Jason with all my heart and I want to be with him more than anything you know you are the one thing that I have ever done right in my entire life and I am so very proud of you okay <laughs> no smooth makeup everything has to be perfect to me. <laughs> I love you <laughs> I love you too <laughs> Flower. Oh, you're ready for your flower? All right. Have a seat, mister. Mr. Man. Show me those rings. I'm doing my job like Jason told me. Oh, yes, you are. Good. Okay, let's get this in here. Look at you. Perfect. <laughs> you know, Michael, I can't get married without those rings. I do. You do. You look very handsome. Okay, you right. Oh, yes, you now get up, okay? You're gonna <laughs> you wrinkle your dress. I look fine. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't want I do fine. Look I want perfect. Now get over here. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay. And then you walk down. You Stepping on your dress. I'm sorry. Okay. Flowers. Check. Something old. Check. Something new. Check. Something borrowed. Check. Something blue. Check. Father of the bride. Check. We'll stand right here. Check. Okay, don't, 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 don't wrinkle her dress. Don't, don't stand up. No, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of it. Okay. Um, rings. Michael. Michael! No, hey, I'll, I'll find him. No, 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 no. Stay, 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 stay right here. Don't move. Right. Michael! Oh, boy. <laughs> Michael? Michael, are you in here? What? Hey! And Courtney can't get married. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what's wrong? I dropped the ring. No, Courtney can't get married. Oh, sweetheart, she was just teasing you. What happened? I lost her ring. Okay, you dropped it? Where did you drop it? You look over here. Where'd you drop it? Under oh, here? Over there. Okay, I'll check under there for you. Okay. Oh. Michael? I got it. You did? I did. Right here. Now, let me see. Show me that other ring. You hold on to this, okay? You hold on tight. You do not let go until the priest asks for them, okay? You understand? Don't worry. I won't. I promise. Okay. Now, let me see. You get all, you all straightened up. You're a little bit messy now. Thanks for not getting mad. Oh, sweetheart. We lose things. We find things. Life goes on, right? Right. I love you, Michael. I love you, too. Oh. Okay. Now we got to get out of here. Why? Because the wedding's about to start. For real? Yes, go. Oh, speak me. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Thank you. And I never would have imagined that I'd be in my daughter's wedding with my son as best man. Well, things have a way of working out. I wish Carly would get back here with Michael. I know people are going to start to wonder what's going on. Oh, don't, don't you mind that. Just, my feet are killing me, but I'm afraid to move. I know, so am I. Oh, God, but I, I'm floating. 
It doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm supposed to be all nervous and worried. And I have never felt so calm. This truly is the happiest day of my life. devil could be taking so long it's kind of romantic oh please <laughs> don't start <laughs> do you think something's wrong he's a bit strange i should probably go check on carly sonny jason get back here Sure. Maybe the bride's room. I don't... Okay, Mike, we're gonna find... Oh, but you gotta help out a little bit, okay? Did you see somebody take Mommy away? Just go home. I gotta go. Where's Carly? 
Yeah, we don't know. Do me a favor, Nicholas. Can you can you get her out of here? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. Come on. Okay, buddy. Listen. Jason went to go find mommy, but you're gonna have to help out a little bit now, all right? Buddy. Mommy's gone. I know. Did you see anybody take her away? Mike, where where is Jason? What's going on? Look, no one can find Carly. Now little Michael might have seen something, but it's like he's in shock. He just keeps saying, Mommy's gone. Why not? Have the police been called? I don't know. I don't know. I'm letting Sonny and Jason take care of that. Look, you're both doctors as well as his grandparents. Maybe you can help him. You were with mom in the church, right? Did you see her talking to somebody? Mommy's gone. Police, the door is open now. We use force. Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. Hi. Uh, what's going on? Uh, we received a 911 call from this address. I must have the wrong house. You here alone, Mr. Lansing? Well, uh, well, my wife and I are here, but uh, we were asleep. Well, look, somebody called from this home. According to the emergency operator, line's still open. So maybe if we come in and speak with your oh, wife, we can oh clear this up. God. God, this is this is embarrassing. Um, my uh, my wife and I we're uh, we're newlyweds. All right, first year can be rough. No, actually, not at all. See, we're, uh, we're kind of in the honeymoon mode, and uh, we tend to get a little crazy sometimes. What happened probably is we knocked the phone off the cradle and it accidentally dialed the speed dial 911. I, I completely understand. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. It's not a problem, but look, Mr. Lansing, we're going to need to come in and speak to your wife. Sonny, my guess is that uh, Michael saw something happen to Carly that just has left him so traumatized that he he really can't process anything except to say Mommy's gone. Sonny, you know, it might be a good idea for Michael to see uh, a specialist that's used to dealing with children. We've got somebody on staff at GH and Dr. Ryan. Oh, she's wonderful. She really is. You should let Alan call her. Thank you. I appreciate it. Michael, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna find your mommy and we're gonna bring her back as soon as we can. Mommy's gone. I know, buddy, I know she is. Elizabeth. Honey, wake up. Mm. Bit of a lightweight with the wine. Uh, knocked the phone over and accidentally hit the speed dial 911. Are you all right, ma'am? Honey, they can't mm. leave unless they know you're okay. Hey, I just I feel like I can't wake up. I'm not surprised you didn't eat very much before we downed that bottle of wine. Oh. Mrs. Lansing, would you like to go to the hospital to be checked out? story for our anniversary next year. Ooh. Look, do me a favor and relocate your phone so this doesn't happen again. Yeah, we will. Every time we're busy on a false alarm, we risk missing a real emergency. It could be the difference between life and death for someone who really is in trouble. I understand. I, I promise you it will never happen again. Okay. Night. Good night. No, don't tell him, 
Courtney's gonna go with you to to the hospital, okay? And I'll be there as soon as I can, but I get it first I gotta work on finding mommy. Look at him. He is traumatized. And the only way to help him is to make him feel secure. Well, there's no chance of that. He's at the mercy of Sonny's business, as is Jason. You know who took Carly? It had to be one of the rival mobsters. Oh. Thank God he didn't take Michael. But honey, how, how long were we waiting? Five minutes, ten minutes at the most? Did you, did you hear anything? No, Dad, and, and until Michael walked in, all I could think about was the wedding. Right. What do you think happened? God, Michael's so upset. What did he see? Well, Mommy's gonna be okay. She's brave. She's got a lot of courage. She's gonna, she's gonna hold on until I can find her and bring her home. She's coming home. I promise you. Mommy's coming home. Now I remember the toast, but that's that's about it. I don't remember anything after that. You don't remember us making love? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't It's kind of a blur. No, that's all right. I guess you really are lightweight because uh, it, was, it was amazing. Oh. You were hanging from light fixtures. You had oh, this little strip tease. I did not. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, it's probably not the best thing for your headache, is it? Oh, maybe it's the perfect thing. Mm -hmm. But I have an idea. Let's go to the bedroom. I want to check out that light fixture, okay? Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Oh. Boy, oh, you know what? Maybe you're not quite ready for... Yeah, I, I, why don't you go get some sleep first, huh? You know what? I think I'm going to take a shower, see if, see if that wakes me up. All right? Okay. All right. I'm fine. Yeah. Are you coming? Yeah, I'll be there in just a minute. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to make you some tea. in the shower. Hey, come on. Shit. Elizabeth! Put it down, right? Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Come here. Come here. Come here. Elizabeth! All our people searching. I'm willing to pay for ballot information. No, you know what? Whoever finds Carly will be able to retire. Check along the waterfront. I want the warehouse checked. I want everything you can, every vessel, whatever you need to do, you do it. What? What about the cops? Forget the cops. Mike, they'll just get Cardi killed. They'll be questioning me all over the place. I can't handle that right now. I found Alcazar. He swore he didn't know anything about Carly. You believe him? Yeah, I believe him. He was actually surprised when I told him Carly was gone. There's nothing he expected. So, if Alcadar doesn't have Carly, who does? Relax. Relax, will you? You're gonna have to stop fighting. You're, you're endangering the baby. You know what, Rick? That's wrong about you. God, you're not just evil. You are insane. I mean, how do you think you're gonna get away with this? Same way Sonny got away with murdering our baby by deliberately pushing Elizabeth down the plaza stairs. That's not what happened. How do you know? How do you know? Because Sonny tells you... I didn't buy for one second his, his denials or his phony, phony acts of sympathy. No, Sonny murdered my baby like he tried to murder me before I was born. Rick, it had been raining the night that Elizabeth fell down the stairs. They were wet and slippery no, and she no, fell Sonny, by accident. Sonny pushed Sonny Elizabeth like he pushed our mother. Now, I've been biding my time. I've been making plans. And I've been waiting for the opportunity to take from him what he took from me. And I can't wait to see the look of joy on Elizabeth's face when I place our baby in her arms. 
you are insane, Rick. You're never going to take this baby from me because you'll have to kill me first. Animal crackers and juice? Mommy's gone. How is Michael? Uh, he's in post-traumatic shock. He sealed himself up inside a cocoon to protect his mind from the last thing he saw. I, he doesn't want to remember what happened to his mother. He's afraid to. It must be too painful. Okay, uh, Michael is the only one who saw Carly abducted. I mean, we have to get through to him. Carly's life is at stake. Well, why don't you go in and talk to him? He's more likely to open up to someone he knows. What do I say? Be as reassuring and easy as possible. Understand he may not respond. The process of mental healing could take time. Michael's mother may not have any time. Why, why would you want to raise the child of a man you hate most and give it to your wife so you'd have a living, breathing reminder of Sonny? Oh, all children are innocent. I don't blame this child for the sins of its father. What, what makes you think that I'm Elizabeth would want to adopt this Baby, and it's not like she can't get pregnant. It's not like her biological clock's ticking. And what are, what are you, you going to do, Rick? You going to say to Elizabeth, come home one day, say, look, look, look what I found. Isn't he cute? Let's keep him. When Sonny murdered our baby, he ripped the hole inside of Elizabeth. Now, I intend to fill that hole, and I am not waiting nine months. I'm not waiting a year. I'm not waiting till however long it takes for Elizabeth to conceive. She will have her baby by Thanksgiving. Big November's a long time away. It's months. I mean, you can't fool Sonny that long. I was able to keep my identity from him until two days before Martha's vineyard. No, he, he never trusted you, Rick. I'm the one. I'm the one who let you in the door. I... Look, Sonny knows that you hate him. And he's going to figure it out. Or Elizabeth's going to figure it out. And What do you think? What do you think she's going to do? You think she's going to be okay with this? She... She's going to leave you. Rick, she's going to hate you. She's going to see you for the monster you are, and then you're going to be alone. But not long, because Sonny's going to come after you, and, and he's going to kill you. Unless, unless... Unless you let me go right now. Sonny will kill me anyway. No. No, he won't, Rick. I swear to you. Listen to me, listen to me. I swear I will, I will feign amnesia. I will act like I had no idea why or how I left the church. You will be... F You're desperate. You're extremely desperate. I, I don't want you dead, Rick. I don't. I want... I want you to just take Elizabeth and go someplace, okay? Start your life over again. You came to Port Charles to go after Sonny, right? I mean, there's no reason for you to be here anymore. It, it... Fixating on him, it's destroying your life, Rick. It's... You're losing your mind. It's not smart. It's sick, and it can't possibly work, and you need... Just go someplace else, or, or Sonny and Jason are going to come here, and they're going to find you. 
I made sure of that. Rex, Sonny's gonna know it's you. Nobody else would want to hurt him in this way. Don't bet on it. Sonny has a lot of enemies. Any one of them with half a brain knows that the easiest way to hurt him is through you. right away. You know, we will if we all work together. They figured it out, Rick. You're done. Like this. You know what? This is crazy, Sonny. What if he's not here? Then he took her somewhere else. Get out! Sonny! They can't hear you. Jason! Don't get away now. Get you! Someone grabbed Carly from the church right before Jason and Courtney were going to get married. Did you think it was Rick? My business competitors would not kidnap a pregnant woman. Only a twisted psycho would do that. Uh, now, where is Rick? I'm going to find him myself. Take Carly, you sick bastard. Carly. You think I stole your wife? You've done worse. No offense, Sonny, but you do have a lot of enemies. Where'd you take her? Sonny, will you leave him alone? I have absolutely no idea where Carly is. You're lying, Rick. You know what, Sonny? I promise you, I have Your no promises don't mean spit. You know where Carly is, one way or another. You're going to tell me where she is, Rick. Okay, will you stop blaming Rick for everything that goes wrong in your life? He had nothing to do with Carly's disappearance. He was with me the entire night. Now, I want both of you to leave. I think you should do as my wife asks. Let's go. We'll be back. Sonny. I'm sorry Carly's missing. I'd help if I could. news about Carly, isn't it? Yeah, it's... It's awful, but I can't stand the way Sonny blames you for everything. He just wants a reason to hate you. He's, he's just desperate. He's looking for somebody to blame. He's worried about his wife. I feel the same way if something like that happened to you. My son. Uh, Michael's still shut down. Uh, your sister almost got through to him, but then he closed off again. It's okay if I go in there and see him? Oh, of course. Uh, just remember to be patient and loving. Yeah. Give him time to process what he's been through. When he's strong enough, he'll bring the image back into his conscious mind. He'll do it. I just, we're just trying to find out what happened to my wife. 
Michael is in a very fragile place. If you push him, he could retreat further. I have to go. Mark, all the guys are looking. Good news is that uh, you can help us. You did something very important tonight. You saw mommy leaving. That's how you're going to help us find her. Mommy's gone. <sighs> okay, Mike. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta help me out here, buddy. Okay, because. I need you to remember. I need you to remember what you saw at the church. Did you see mommy with someone? Maybe someone you knew? You know, it just infuriates me that someone barges in here without a shred of evidence against you. Look, he assumes the worst. After what I've done, I can't say that I blame him. Well, that is unbelievably generous of you. I'm turning into quite a generous guy, thanks to you. Hmm. Are you saying I'm responsible for the new and improved Rick Lansing? You do inspire me, Elizabeth. It's up to me you'll get everything your heart desires. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, right now, mm -hmm. my heart desires dinner. So I am generously volunteering to go get takeout at Rosetti's. Oh, you are an angel from heaven. I knew it all along. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. You have money? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye. like that, making her believe you're a decent human being. You know what? Elizabeth might not be my favorite person, but she sure as hell deserves better than you because you're a psycho. You know, Carla, you need to not get yourself upset. It's not really good for the baby. You know what? It's my baby. And you know nothing about it. Just let me go. No, I'm sorry. That's not in the cards. It should be well taken care of. I got vitamins for you. I've got a few healthy snacks here. If you have any cravings, Feel free to let me know, and I'll be happy to get it for you. You really are insane. No, I'm completely and totally justified. What's happening right now is Sonny's fault, and he deserves it. Sonny knows that you took me. Jason made a clean sweep of this house. He didn't find anything. Sonny will find me. And when he does, he will kill you. And if he doesn't... I make you as comfortable as possible. The bathroom has a shower in it. I'm taking the liberty of getting you some maternity clothing. I won't Should... be the prisoner, Vic. I will find a way out. I well, think what you want. But I know better. I'm more than you can handle. You remember when I showed up at your apartment and I drugged you and I tied you up and held you at gunpoint? Except Sonny came in and he talked me down, but that won't happen the next time. Carly, I'm the only one who knows that you're in here. So that basically that means that I'm your lifeline. I'm the only one keeping you and this baby alive. It's my baby. For now. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I need some rest. 
I'll see you in the morning, okay? The harder you make this, the worse it's gonna be for you. Get some sleep. I know, I know it's scary to remember what you saw, but if you tell me who did this, I can go get mommy and bring her back. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? Mike, Michael, listen to me. Do you think mommy knows you saw something? Maybe mommy's counting on you to, to tell me so we can go get mommy and bring her home. Mommy's gone. All right, you know what? You don't have to, you... No more questions. You don't have to remember anything you don't want to. I'm gonna find mom, right? I promise, I'm bringing me up. Can you do that? somewhere waiting for me to get to her. We got enough. I got all our men and every man I know out looking for her. If they come up with anything, they're going to let us know. Sonny, if no one has a lead, soon maybe you should think about filing a missing persons report. I don't want that idiot Baldwin involved. He's gonna screw things up, he's gonna get her killed. What are you talking about? No, we, we're not getting anywhere on our own. And the longer we wait, the less time, then the cops are gonna have to pick up any kind of trail at all. You think I'm giving them time to get away? I don't know. Man, I, I don't like the idea of working with the police any more than you do, but they got manpower, they can get search warrants. And maybe that's what it's gonna take to find her. Wonder Rosie, making the world safe for, for all the dogs and little children everywhere. And she flies through the sky, wearing a cape with a little dog bone on it. And she looks down on the streets, on the houses and apartments, and watches over all of us. So it's okay to go to sleep. Because yeah, Rosie, she is making sure that everyone we love is safe and sound and protected by the power of good.
while I am here, please. Please help protect our baby. Please lead Sonny to me. Please help me find my wife. And bring her home. Stay It was negative because it's too early to tell, but no, you know. I, I just, I, I don't want you to put pressure on yourself. I'm not. It's just the more I think about it, the more I really want us to have a baby. Yeah. Well, you can't have mine. Everybody has bad dreams, Michael. I have bad dreams that wake me up at night, but they're not real. But you know something? Sometimes when you when you talk about your dreams, they go away. Hey, maybe if you tell us what the dream was, it won't seem so scary. You think? Listen, do you think maybe you when you dream about mommy, right? Maybe you saw something in your dream, something that happened to her. Mommy. Okay, you know what? It's all right. It's all right. Um, I promise you that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this. Okay? Yeah, your daddy's really good at that, Michael. I know what it's like to wake up confused and feel all locked up inside yourself, but you know something? You're gonna do this. Everything's going to be great, okay? Okay? All right, come on. Uh, make sure he eats breakfast. And um, I, I am sending Marco to the bakery. I don't want him in this hospital slot. Yeah, neither do I. I'll, I'll wait with him. All right, thank you. I just don't want you to disappoint yourself. I mean, why would you take a pregnancy test so soon? I don't know. Just hoping against hope, I guess. I don't want you to do that to yourself. Something else is bothering you, isn't it? No, no, everything's fine. This is about Sonny. Hey, you have to know, he, he can't think that you took Carly. He came, he searched the house, there was no Carly. Look, I don't want to focus on Sonny anymore in this paranoia. I want to, I want to focus on us, on our lives. You were in for a rude awakening. 
Once I get out of here and you find out you're married to a psychopath. Listen, I need for you to trust that things are, are going to work out the way they were meant to be. As long as we have each other, we can deal with anything, right? Hey, we're partners. That's what being married's all about. Right. And I guess we're lucky to marry you, huh? <laughs> I have no idea. I have to go to the hospital mm -hmm. and see my grandmother, okay? okay? You know where I'll be. Okay. Uh, good luck to you. I love you more. Look flush. You're up to something. I don't like being summoned. What do you want? I appreciate you being here. Who'd you put in the hospital? What does it have to do with me? Carly's missing. She was taken from the Queen of Angels right before Jason and Courtney's wedding. Well, maybe she couldn't stand the sight of her old flame marrying her sister-in-law, and she just took off. Case what closed. It's not what happened. Well, if you know what happened, why are you wasting my time? Michael saw everything. He's in his hospital room right now with Courtney. He can barely speak. It's tough when kids get hurt by stupid criminals. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe somebody hooked Carly on drugs and they're forcing her to strip to make a living. There was no sign of struggle. Nobody tried to contact us. She's run off before. No, not this time. Why is this time any different? Because she was about to be in a wedding. How nice She for wouldn't her. have left on her own, all right? What do you want me to do? Huh? I need your help. What's in it for me? Elizabeth's a fool. She always has been. Well, she deserves a baby, and she's going to have one. Not mine. That only really seems fair, since Sonny's the one who caused her miscarriage. Elizabeth fell down the stairs because she insisted on meeting my husband after a no, rainstorm. Sonny storm. pushed she Elizabeth the way he pushed our mother. He is psychotic. No, Rick, that'd be you. But Elizabeth is just a little too naive to see it. I have a question, though, for you. Um, what if she does get pregnant? Kind of messes up your plan, doesn't it? I prepare for all contingencies. You are so arrogant. And so wrong. Kidnap Carly? Well, no, that's what I've been asking myself. Well, Sonny and Jason have been here already. My guess is they've gotten to you as well. It's nonsense. <sighs> you really think Sonny's gonna let you live after this? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. What good is revenge if you're dead? I ended the vendetta, Faith. Nobody's gonna wind up dead. Give Carly back. 
Throw yourself on Sonny's mercy. Invoke your dear departed Okay, mother. this is none of your business. Look, I don't have Carly, and to tell you the truth, I hope Sonny does find her. Do you really think you can lie to me? After everything we've been through? We work together, Faith. That's all. It's more than that, and you know it. Jason Morgan is like a wild animal. A member of his pack is missing. And he won't stop until he finds her. Have you been watching a few nature shows on cable, Faith? He can smell things. Like fear. Wild animals can smell it a mile away. So, you better keep your eyes open. Because our wild animal will be back. Almost there. Do it. Do Damn! I want you to file a missing persons report. Well, I have no proof that Carly is actually missing. Carly wants a bribe. Are you trying to bribe me there, Blue Eyes? I'm just... Follow them. I'm just asking you to do your job. My job? Yeah. My job is to put criminals like you away. Cops can't do it. The courts won't. So I've made it my personal mission. I've asked you to cooperate with me before, but all I got was that blank stare. I knew the day would come where you would need my help. Here it is. Okay, do you understand that my wife is pregnant, or do you not care? Maybe she decided she didn't want to bring another kid into a life of crime. She got smart. Left town. That's not what happened. Well, Carly will show up. She always does. Maybe she'll swim in again. Maybe she'll hitchhike. Or maybe she'll have the baby in a trailer. Maybe what? Maybe what? You want me to kill you, huh? Is that what you want? You know what? I'm not going to press charges because of your emotional state, but the next time either one of you touch me. Cops are always better. You're right, you're right. Especially that one. I should have known. I'll take care of this another way. Jason, Michael's remembering something. Everything's okay, buddy. I'm not gonna let anyone hurt you. Okay, tell us what you remember. Honey, what did you see? I saw a man. You saw a man? Did he take your mom? Okay, sweetheart, I know this is really difficult for you, but the more that you can tell us... Okay, what did he look like? Do you think maybe you've seen him before Come somewhere? That's, that's enough for now. Sometimes the words aren't there no matter what you want to say. I know how that feels, buddy. It's all right. Words will come out when they're ready. She's, she screamed. There was a struggle. 
Somebody hung up. But what about a trace? One of our guys in the cop shop is trying, but it doesn't look good. So, but I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, do something else, you know, since Baldwin won't help mm -hmm. us. But I need to I need to speak to Mike. How's he doing? He remembered a man. What do you mean he remembered yeah, a man? Yeah. The description? Did he give you a name? So no, no, I don't want to push him. He'll shut down. No. But it's progress. Okay, we, uh, we need to let him do it yeah, on his own. Well. help him to get him out of here, too, because he's not taking medication. He doesn't need to be in the hospital. He needs to be home. I'll speak to the doctor. turned down all requests for interviews until now. That's right. You must really love your wife. Yeah. <clears throat> the hospital can release Michael at any time. Well, that's wonderful. Michael is still traumatized. In my opinion, uh, he should still be in the hospital. We're going to take him home. That's a family decision. But just to be clear, taking Michael home goes against my recommendation. I understand. Thank you. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, but if the doctor thinks it's a bad well, idea, first place okay. I remember. It's this hospital. Now I woke up here after the accident in one of those beds. There's lights in my eyes. And I kept smelling that chemical smell. And they treated me like a problem they couldn't solve. It must have been terrible. And that's the way they're treating Michael. I mean, I had nowhere that I could go that I remember, but I wanted out more than anything. And Michael has a good place to go. So we're going to take him home. Well, we all love Michael, and we all feel terrible for him, but you are the only one who knows what he's really going through. So trust your instincts. I do. Taking you out of this place. Yeah, you get to go home. Will mommy be there? Everything's gonna be okay. I will get us out of here. You may get jostled around a little bit. And it'll be loud and uncomfortable, but not for long. I will do whatever it takes. You just need to hang on and stay with me, okay? And I promise you, I will get us home. after your latest tantrum. You know that stress is bad for the baby. Well, you should have thought about that before you kidnapped me. To make you as comfortable as possible. You're speechless with gratitude. You know, trying to run and trying to get free from here is only going to be bad for the baby. I think you should consider its welfare instead of your own. Because you really care about my baby, don't you? I love that child. Elizabeth and I are going to give it a wonderful home. 
So that's one less thing for you to worry about. It's your luck. No, not a chance. Okay. Well, then I'll just leave it here for you to finish later. Fine. I will polish off every single bite. When hell freezes over. There's no way I'm going to eat that food. You're tenacious, I'll give you that. Yeah, and you're a psychotic, mentally unbalanced what are you freak. Trying to do? What are you trying to do here? You're trying to wear me down, undermine my confidence? Oh, no. Because Elizabeth will take care of that. It's her specialty. Yeah, she'll say that she believes in you. When she doesn't. That you're wonderful when you really aren't. Yeah, that way you'll never quite know where you stand. Leave Elizabeth out of this. She's already doing it. Isn't she? <laughs> For all we know, she could be at the police station right now. Because when the going gets tough, Elizabeth will turn on you. You just wait and you know, see. Shut up. Just... You don't like hearing the truth? No, I just said problem you like. with it? You're going to eat this food. Mm. No. Not a chance. Not one bite. Damn it. <laughs> the wifey's home. I don't need this. Hey. Did you hear that? Hey, what? I thought I just heard someone screaming. Congratulations. Come in. You interrupted every show and every local station. For what? To undercut the police department? Because you lost your wife. You again. had every opportunity to help. You didn't. We don't even know if Carly is really missing. I made a public appeal. The media picked up on it. Is that against the law? I told you one day you would be in over your head with one of your enemies and you would need my help. Well, that day is here. Oh, it is such a perfect... Evening. If you have any word on Carly, let me know, otherwise stay out of my way. Bet you're a little scared now. I finally know what it's like to be a little desperate. That makes you feel good, doesn't it? That's the kind of garbage you are. You know, I do feel good when I watch you squirm and suffer a little bit. But not really at Carly's expense. Of course, now I think about it, this is not the first pregnant wife you've Get the hell out of here. Hey, you know what? Don't hit me. Payback is hell, and you got a lot more coming your way, Corinthos. How long has he been sleeping? He's in the car. I got some, uh, books I put together for you. Here's the one about magic, with Michael. Hey, buddy, we're going to open some windows so you can get some fresh air, all right? Johnny's going to bring some uh, tortellini from the No Name. Mike? Mom's not here. But we're out, we're out looking for her. Okay, I got it. We're going to find her, okay? Sweetie. Mommy is hungry too. But this is the only way I can think to get us out of here, so. You just. Hold on. Because I'm gonna get us home. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with me, just pain. Good night, you two. We'll be right across the hall. Okay. I'll see you in the morning, okay? I love you so much. I love you too. He called that right. Yeah, I hope so. Now, Michael, he seems more relaxed already. I 
Hello. I want the reward in cash immediately. <coughs> Who is this? <coughs> Hello. You have Carly? Hello. All right, Michael, I know you're tired. I'm going to get you upstairs, get you ready for bed. I'm going to stay with you, okay? Till you fall asleep. You're safe here. No one can get to you. No one can hurt you. But Mommy's still gone. Touched your food. So? You need to eat. No, I don't. Okay, we'll see about that. You want to force me, Rick? Go ahead and try and see what happens. Jr. is offering a $3 million reward for the safe return of his wife, Carly, who disappeared from the Queen of Angels Church yesterday. Stay tuned for our exclusive interview. Rick, are you home? All right, look, you're not going to starve this baby. Come on. Take it. give you sonnies and my child. I will start myself and my baby first. Pizza's ready. It's Michael's favorite. Pepperoni and black olives. Yeah. Hopefully he eats. Thanks. It's Carly's favorite, too. It's amazing to me that I end up in a house where pizza's king. <laughs> Helping out at last, you know. He doesn't put a lot of pressure on my. Doesn't wait for him to tell him, you know. He looked up his mother. I do that. Hey, he's better already since we brought him home, you know. I'll remember. And when he does, he'll tell us. The problem is patience is one of my strong suits, especially when my wife's life's on the line. Yeah. Sweetie, it's time for dinner. Come on. Get some pizza. Oh, great. I got the both of you. You have word of my wife? Well, this might relate. Javier Mendez was found knifed in the alley. Why do I care? Well, if you thought that he kidnapped Carly and you sent Jason to kill him, well, then we're talking about murder. I uh, happen to know that you are a pizza junkie. You told me that when we first met. When you were pretending to be my friend. Yeah, look, um, Carly, I know you're not going to believe this or probably even care, but I, I do genuinely like you. I wanted to be your friend. It's just your married to a twisted, sadistic bastard who deserves to be punished. You just described yourself. Hello? Mrs. Lansing, Lorenzo Alcazar here. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Last time I saw you, you appeared uh, indisposed. Well, that's not the way I remember it. Memory is such a subjective thing. Is your husband home? I have a matter of mutual interest to discuss with him. It's for Alcazar, and you think Alcazar is behind Carly's abduction. So you do what you do best. 
kill people. Do you have any proof of this? An eyewitness? Shred of evidence? Anything, you know? It's just a theory based on years of experience. Oh. Baldwin here. Luke Spencer was spotted heading for Spoon Island. I'll be right there. Was that about Carly? Yeah, there's other things going on in this town other than the whereabouts of your wandering wife. One day, I'm gonna kill that idiot. Just for the fun of it. Mm, it's not worth the bullets. But you know, it might not be a bad idea to uh, call in a favor to one of the judges on the payroll. Get him publicly, officially reprimanded in court order to stay away from you. Baldwin may have given away more than he meant to. He may lead us straight to Carly. Rick, where are you? You say he choked off mid-sentence? Something could have happened to him. All right. Um, let's say Alcazar grabs Carly, right? All right. Javier's in on it. Here's about the reward. He says the hell with Alcazar. He goes for the bucks. Before he can even get off the phone, Alcazar does him in. All right. Alcazar is a businessman. All right. If he's got Carly, he wants something in return. Seems to me he would have called with his demands, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you thinking? There's one person who'd really want to hurt you and make you crazy with fear. Rick took her. He grabbed her at the church, and he's holding Carly now to get revenge against you. Hello? That was nice. Yeah, giving Elizabeth that gun. It was good. Really, and with any luck, the little twit will realize what a psychopath you are and All right, shut up. Herself. Shut up. You don't know anything about me and Elizabeth, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't speak her name. <laughs> Elizabeth. Listen to me. Jason and I, we have to go out for a little while, but I'm going to be back as soon as I can. Ain't Courtney's gonna stay here with you. Maybe you can get her to read a chapter in your new book. What do you think? And I'm trusting you to hold on to this. Buddy, we're gonna play tomorrow, okay? Are you gonna find mommy? Okay, um... We're gonna try to find mommy, right? But I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna... I can't promise you, buddy, okay? That I'm gonna bring mommy home tonight. Well, look at that. You need everybody. You're proud of yourself. Look, you're gonna need your strength for labor, and I hear the pizza's a pretty good source of calcium, so... Yeah, we'll give the pizza to Elizabeth. Maybe she can grow herself a baby. For you, Rick. What? Are you really so deluded that you think that once you give my baby to Elizabeth that she's just going to thank you? No questions asked? Do, 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 do you think that once she learns everything there is to know about you, she's going to love you in spite of it all? You don't know women. Elizabeth may not be too bright on the uptake, but she's not going to stay married to a man who kidnaps a pregnant woman, holds her hostage so he can take her baby. Look, Elizabeth is never going to find out. Uh, Rick, did you hear yourself? I mean, did you, did you hear what you're saying? Did you realize how far over the edge you've gone? 
It's a choice. This is a choice you can make, Rick. Just stop it. Stop this while you still can. Just listen to me, Rick. Will you listen to me? You have so much in your life. You have so much you can lose right now. You say that you love Elizabeth, so you're married to a woman you really love. And if you stay with her long enough and you're patient, she will get pregnant. And you can have that family that you so desperately want. She obviously loves you very, very much because she forgave you for everything you did, all the lies that you told and everything you did to me. <clears throat> she won't forgive this. She won't love you through this because it's too sick. It's too twisted. You need to hold on to what you have now, Rick, because it may not ever happen again. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. Uh... You can't. No, I can't. I can't you let can't. you go. I can't let you go. No, I, I'm, I love Elizabeth, and I'm going to make her happy. And the only way I can see to do that is take back the child that Sonny took from us. No, Rick. You can't. You can't. You never can do that! in your current project. When we get out of here, your daddy is going to let us eat whatever we want. <laughs> we'll have potato chips and pizza and ice cream. Whatever we want, right? with doors on either side and every door looked like every other there was no way to tell which one led to the silver room so why didn't i pay closer attention he thought Carly is leverage against Sonny. You let me use that leverage, or I tell your brother where to find his wife. You think I give a damn about Carly? All I care about is that child that she's carrying. Well, then we should have no problem doing business. This explains a lot. <sighs> I wasn't sure which one he took my wife. But I didn't know you were working together. Now I do. Come on, Jason. Come on. You know how Rick operates. There's no paper trail. No one working with him. Don't, don't go. Jason, don't go. I'm in here, Jason! Carly's 
to you? your brother and I had something to do with your wife's disappearance? Is this the part where you tell me I'm wrong? Absolutely. It's a terrible thing to happen to your wife and you have my sympathy. My agenda here is my own. I'm simply looking for a good lawyer, preferably someone with experience in our line of work. So we can put Mr. Lansing on retainer. I just informed Mr. Alcazar that I have no intention of doing any kind of business with him. My days of doing dirty work for your kind are over. Well, I can understand that. You're too busy doing your own dirty work. Kidnapping pregnant women, holding them against their will. You're smart, Rick. Ask yourself, did you actually think you can get away with taking my wife and child? Okay, Michael, I need you to think real hard before you answer, okay? Okay. okay. And you said you saw Rick take your mommy? Okay, we, we need to be sure. Are you positive it was Rick? The Mr. Lansing we saw in the park that day? Rick took her. What are you doing in my house, Jason? Yeah, just just put, put the gun down. No, 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 I don't think so. Don't Tell me. Please. You're not going to shoot me. All, I, all I'm trying to do is find Carly. God, how many ways do you have to hear it? No, you don't want to accept this. But Rick has Carly. I'm sure of it. The only question is where. You abducted your wife or had anything to do with her disappearance? No, you don't have to answer that. You don't. Because I didn't. And I've been a very patient man. I am sick of your constant harassment. You're barging into my house with Jason, making unfounded accusations and threatening my wife. It's done. Or I will get a restraining order and I'll see you in jail. It goes for you, too. I'm not gonna let you people bring my life down. Kill each other if you want. But you leave me out of it. Another sinner reformed by the love of a saintly woman. Terrible thing what happened to your guy, Javier. Stabbed in the back for something he did. Something he knew about. If I ever find out you were responsible for my wife's disappearance, I will guarantee you you will pay. I guess that makes me duly warned. Are, are you gonna hold that gun on me all night? Just, Elizabeth, just put the gun down so we can talk about this. There is nothing to talk about. I already told you Rick was with me the night Carly disappeared. He couldn't have I taken her. I understand that's your story, but you gotta... Carly's pregnant, okay? No matter what I think of her personally, or Sunny for that matter, I would never knowingly keep an innocent baby in danger. Come on, Jason, you have to know at least that much about I, me. I don't, th I don't think you're lying to me. But I think Rick is lying to you. And you, and you have this idea in your head that this guy is a, a good person, and that's your business if Carly's life wasn't at stake right now. Yeah. Michael remembered who took Carly. Who? Rick. I'll be right there. Is that about Carly? Just be careful. Hey, went to Rick's. No sign of Carly. Alcazar's involvement is anybody's guess. Sonny. Michael saw Rick. What do you mean, Michael? I was reading to him and he remembered. 
W w what did he say exactly? Rick took her. Is he sure? I don't know. He seemed to be. I didn't want to push those Sonny Michaels so upset. I, I thought that, that you and Jason should question him. Is he upstairs? Yeah. Sonny, what do you want to do? Well, I mean, for starters, kill Rick with my bare hands. your lights back on but i gotta tell you there's something strange going on in this house i won't rick lansing arrested for kidnapping my wife how can you be sure that he because that sadistic piece of garbage blames me for his wife's miscarriage now this is his idea of revenge i want he's got her somewhere mac and i want you and your department to find my wife and bring her home. I don't suppose you have anything in the way of evidence. Oh. Eyewitness, is that enough proof for you? Well, it depends on who it is, Sonny. Courtney! My, my son saw everything. Michael is your witness. That's right. Is, uh, is this true, Michael? Okay, sweetie. Just tell Commissioner Scorpio what you told me. Did, um... Did you see something happen the night your mom disappeared? I lost the rings. Okay, what happened next? The mommy came to help me find her. Then... <coughs> then I took her. Yeah, satisfied, Matt? Did Rick see you? Oh, no. Are you sure your mom and Rick left together? Mac, they, they didn't leave together because Rick kidnapped her. How much more do you need? More. Did I say something wrong? No, honey, you're doing great. Buddy, we just... We just need to make sure what happened so we, we know where to look for Carly. I told you. Rick took her. He grabbed her at the church, just like you said. <laughs> 